Shalom and welcome to Two Minutes of Torah. <coughs> this year is entitled Yom Atzmaot 2016. Tavshin Ayin Vav Chag Sameach to everyone. Uh, the uh, full Yom Atzmaot Russia we give on Shabbat every year before Yom Atzmaot uh, with a major handout. It's a Shem that will be posted on the uh, Menachem Ma'or website. Just a little summary. <laughs> Uh, some of the key ideas that we discussed uh, this year, uh, we had two sections. Uh, we always have two sections. The first part is a philosophical section. The second part is a review of the brachot of the past year in, uh, in Eretz Yisrael, Medinat Yisrael. And just a summary of the theoretical, hashkafa philosophical section. This year we discussed the concept from Rosh Soloveitchik of Ezra and Yeshua. The Rav asks a fascinating question. He says, why is it that benching Bekatamazon, a lengthy discussion for Brahot, covering a, a, long, a large range of topics, that we say that Brahot, the long Brahot, the long series of Brahot over bread and over fruit, we have a short Brahot. He says, well, what was the very big difference? Bread were very involved in the process. It doesn't grow on trees, as opposed to fruit. You can plant a seed and for the next 20, 30 years have thousands of fruits without doing much at all. So he says, but you think that would be the opposite. We should thank God more when we do less. We plant a seed, have fruits for hundreds, have thousands of fruits for many years with no work. That's, that's when we should thank God. Bread, we do a lot of the work. The harvesting of the grain and the grinding of the grain, etc., etc., etc. So he says something beautiful. We thank God for the partnership that we are allowed to forge with God. That he does his part, so to speak, with the wheat and the growing and the right conditions and the weather, and we do our part. As opposed to when we simply receive a bracha from Hashem, we, he does all the work, so to speak, we thank God for that as well. That's not the ultimate relationship. And the Rav says that the relationship where we're working together with God, that's called an Ezra relationship, as opposed to a relationship where we're simply receiving the benefits, that's a Yeshua relationship. And the ultimate relationship with God is the Ezra, where we do hard work, and we give of ourselves, and we sacrifice, and God blesses our endeavors. And the Rav said, this was on the 10th anniversary of the state in 1958, he was speaking in Maria School. The full uh, lecture was brought into Rashot Tarot by uh, Dr. Arnold Lustiger. And the Rav said over there that that's what Medina Israel is about. It is an Ezra relationship, where we go ahead and we're involved in working on the land and producing a society and an economy and a military. And we try to deal with the world and we deal with all the enemies. And there's unbelievable sacrifice in every way here. And Israel is nicknamed with the Surin and Israel's challenging. We know that. He says that's the ultimate Ezra relationship. And we're working together as a nation with blood, sweat, and tears, and God blesses that relationship. And the Rav says the fact that there's so much sacrifice for the state of Israel is not a sign that God is not with us on the country. That's, that's part of the Ezra relationship where we're working, we're giving, we're sacrificing. And that's where we are forging a beautiful Ezra relationship with God. So that's the Rav's idea. On Medinat Israel, the ultimate Ezra relationship. If I may just add a bit, the uh, number one, the Al Shet says, "Avramim Hashem ki dilitani." I bless you, Hashem, because you dilitani. Some say a doll like a pail that raises the water out of the well. And we're thanking Hashem for lifting us up. The Al Shet says, "Avramim Hashem ki dilitani." I bless you, Hashem. Dilitani, you've made me poor. Sometimes when Hashem makes us poor, He puts us through challenges. That's when we have our ultimate growth. We 
dig deep into ourselves, we understand ourselves on a deeper level. So the fact that the night Yisrael has created so many challenges for us, that's where we grow. And that, of course, fits into the Rav's idea. That's where we grow by us being involved. And that's when Hashem blesses our growth. And I may add another point. It could be that over the years of exile, at first, exile was only 70 years. A generation later, two generations later, some of the same people saw the Migdash destroyed and then saw it be rebuilt. Second Migdash left is 420 years. And in Bar Kokhva, they fought back. They thought, now we're going to win it back. And they thought, okay. And they were still in the Ezra mentality that we could work from Dina Israel for rebuilding the Commonwealth and Hashem will bless us. Another century, another century, another century. We became a very passive. I think we may have developed the Yeshua mentality, hoping Hashem is just going to somehow miraculously save us. And we davened and davened and davened faithfully. But we may have been dabbing only in Yeshua framework. And eventually it took time and it took a very interesting wide range of people from all folds of life, the Orthodox and many, many, many of the non Orthodox Jews that forged this Ezra relationship. And it was a new idea to so many of the Orthodox because it was a different mentality may have developed over the years and there's sources that people found to show it's only going to happen in this way, God's going to bring us home there's plenty of sources the other way as well and the bottom line is that we've created the Ezra relationship with God in the Medina Israel, and we are flourishing there is so much more to go obviously but there's so much beautiful growth spiritually physically, financially, economically etc etc and it's a shame we're going to keep on growing. All the sources regarding the details of the brachot is, is posted in the handout. Please see and appreciate all the brachot that we have. It's posted on our website. And I'm Yitz Hashem, just like this Ezra relationship has brought us so far, where Hashem has blessed us so much, and Yitz Hashem will be Zohar. We merit to see the Geulah Shleimah. Shalom Chag Sameach.